Spiritual Renewal Reflection for Thursday, August 10, 2023. In the Moravian Daily Text, the watchword for today says, Look at the proud. Their spirit is not right in them, but the righteous live by their faith. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. The accompanying doctrinal text is James chapter 1 verse 21. It reads as follows. Therefore rid yourself of all sordidness and welcome with meekness the employed planted word that has power to save souls. As we reflect on the spiritual renewal of our Moravian ancestors, let us hear what God will say to us through today's watchword. I'm reading from the New Living Translation. It says, Look at the proud. They trust in themselves and their lives are crooked. But the righteous will live by their faithfulness to God. In this chapter, back up chapter 2, God gives us, as well as Habakkuk, knowledge of future occurrences as it's written in verse 3 of this chapter and reads, This vision is for a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. The Lord continues in this chapter to show the characteristics of the proud and the consequences of living such a lifestyle. Thus the Almighty is saying in verse 5, Wealth is treacherous and the arrogant are never at rest. They open their mouths wide as the grave, and like death, they are never satisfied. In verse 9, he warns, What sorrow awaits you who build big houses with money gained dishonestly? You believe your wealth will buy security, but in your family's nest beyond reach of danger. In verses 12 and 13, we are reminded, what sorrow awaits you who build cities with money gained through murder and corruption? Has not the Lord of Heaven's armies promised that the wealth of nations will turn to ashes? They work so hard, but all in vain. There are other accounts in the Bible where pride and arrogance result in man's downfall. For example, in Daniel chapter 4, verse 32 to, thir verse 30 to 32, it states, As he looked out across the city, he said, Look at this great city of Babylon. By my own mighty power, I have built this beautiful city as my royal residence to display my majestic splendor. While these words were still in his mouth, a voice called down from heaven, O King Nebuchadnezzar, this message is for you. You are no longer ruler of this kingdom. You will be driven from human society. You will live in the fields with the wild animals, and you will eat grass like a cow. Seven periods of time will pass while you live this way until you learn that the Most High rules over the kingdoms of the world and gives, to them, and gives them to anyone he chooses. The judgment was fulfilled the same hour as stated in the following verse. In contrast, the Word of God also gives examples of what happens to the righteous who live by their faith. Accounts are found in many parts of the Holy Bible, including Daniel chapter 3, verse 16 to 18, and Matthew 
chapter 8, verse 10 to 13. Continuing to read from the New Living Translation, Daniel 3, 16 to 80. Shedra, Misha, and Abednego replied, O oh, Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you. If we are thrown into the burning furnace, the God whom we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us from your power, your majesty. But even if he doesn't, we want to make it clear to you, your majesty, that we will never serve your God or worship the gold statue you set up. Now, this is a famous story which enraged the king. The boys were thrown into the furnace and God did save them. In Matthew 8, chapter 8, verse 10 to 13, it reads, When Jesus heard this, he was amazed. Turning to those who were following him, he said, I tell you the truth. I haven't seen faith like this in all Israel. And I tell you this, that many Gentiles will come from all over the world, from the east and the west, and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the feast in the kingdom of heaven. But many Israelites, those to for whom the kingdom was prepared, will be thrown into outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When Jesus said, then Jesus said to the Roman officer, go back home, because you believe it has happened. And the young servant was healed that same hour. Therefore, what can we as believers in Christ Jesus do to be faithful to God, and live righteously? The answer may be taken from today's doctrinal text. That is, to rid ourselves of all sordidness and welcome with meekness the implanted word that has power to save souls. Also, we may practice the word, words of Jane Montgomery as she penned, forgiving, and forgiven. Those words were seen at the end of a verse. It was as a tribute to the Moravian congregation at birth is God. Let us pray. Sovereign Lord, we thank you for your mercy and grace. May we trust and be faithful to you always. May we be forgiven and forgiven in order to live lives that are acceptable unto you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.